Hi everyone, welcome back. So today we'll talk about thermoelectricity. So we are going to talk about the relationship between heat and electricity. Thermo refers to heat. So can we convert electricity to heat? Uh, yes, we already know that. How to convert electricity into heat? And that effect is basically called as what? It is called as Joule's effect. Okay. Joule's effect is uh, converting electricity to uh, heat energy and the formulae we already know are H is equal to I square RT or also V I T or also V square by R into T right. So these are the formulae for Joule's effect. Now is the reverse possible? Can heat energy be converted back into electricity? Can we use heat to convert it into electricity? Uh, well there are two methods to do this. First is directly and the second method we already know is the indirect method to convert heat into electricity. So what's the indirect method? Uh, that is basically using generators, the turbines. So to move the turbine, right, uh, we need uh, a flow of either water or we can move the turbine through wind or we can move the turbine through uh, the tidal waves, right. So this is uh, the way to generate electricity. But one very common method to move the turbine is through steam, right, pressurized steam. Uh, if it is made to fall onto the blades of the turbine, then uh, electricity is generated. So how to get steam? To generate steam, we need heat, right? So that is an indirect method because heat is first converted to, you know, heat is used to convert water to steam. And then that steam, uh, you know, we, we can say it gets converted into the kinetic energy of the turbine and then eventually electricity is generated. So that's not what is in focus here in this topic, right? Here what we want to talk about is direct conversion of heat into electricity, not indirectly, okay? And that effect is basically what is called as Seebeck effect. Seebeck was the name of the scientist. So you can say Seebeck effect or also Seebeck's effect, if you want to call it like that, right? Seebeck effect is uh, what we have to study today, conversion of heat into electricity. Okay, so to understand Seebeck effect, there are two examples to remember and the shortcut to remember, remember them are a, B, C and hot coffee. So we will change the spelling of coffee instead of using the normal spelling. We can say hot. It's not exactly coffee, but you know, hot coffee. But uh, easy way to remember is hot coffee. Okay. So let's understand the first example. A, B, C. What does this mean? So Suppose I take two wires, okay, let's say this green wire is made up of the element bismuth, okay. Then I take another wire of a different material, which is say example, here is antimony. So I had joined these two wires. So the blue wire is antimony wire, the green wire is bismuth. I have joined them here and, and I get two junctions, right? Now, because I want to generate electricity, how will I come to know whether electricity is generated or not? So for that, obviously we will connect a galvanometer.
okay so now what do we do at these two junctions so as i said heat has to be involved somewhere so what is done is the two junctions are maintained at different temperatures so in one of the junctions you know we can pour hot water and at the second junction we can uh, put some ice so basically this is going to be the cold junction so the two junctions are maintained at different temperatures right uh, one is at one junction we provide hot water so this will be the hot junction and the other junction will be the cold junction where we provide some ice we keep it in a container of ice so the shortcut to remember here is that so first of all what is thermoelectricity or seebeck effect is that whenever two different materials are joined like this and at the junctions if we create a temperature difference then electricity is produced right or in other words electrons will start flowing or in other words i'll get a current so the direction of the current can be remembered by this shortcut that is the meaning of this abc abc here basically means that the current is from antimony to bismuth that is antimony to bismuth at c that is the cold junction so the direction of current is going to be from antimony going into bismuth at which junction the cold junction so eventually because at the hot junction if you see it is from bismuth to antimony right so it's it's reverse of it will become bac bah actually bismuth to antimony at the hot junction but this is easier to remember abc antimony to bismuth at the cold junction and eventually you will notice that the galvanometer pointer deflects right to the right so this is an example of seebeck effect and um, just to clarify because i compared it with the indirect method to generate electricity uh, those methods are basically using turbines that is used to generate electricity at a at a very large scale right which can be used for commercial and uh, residential purposes the electricity which we use right the supply voltage which we get but uh, this uh, thermoelectricity is not meant for that it is basically just used it can be used to detect a temperature change right that is the main purpose it's not meant for generating electricity okay so what about the second example very similar right now instead of antimony and bismuth the two materials here are copper and f is iron so here the green one is <coughs> let's say copper and the blue one let's call it, name it as iron again what we will be doing is we will be maintaining a temperature difference at the two junctions right this one again we will keep it cold by providing some ice and here we have some hot water so it is the hot junction so again we have the hot junction and the cold junction and now again the name would be very clear right hot coffee here means what the current at the hot junction is from copper to fe from copper to fe right so again the galvanometer will point the same way right at the hot junction the current is from copper to fe and this is your seebeck effect or also we call it as thermo electricity and uh, these examples of abc or hot coffee right antimony bismuth or copper and iron these are also they what we call as they form as a thermo couple right thermo couple means couple means two here we have two materials and the word thermo is uh, referring to heat right so these are called as thermo couples 
Okay, so what's the formula? H is I square RT or VIT or V square by R into T for Joule's effect. <coughs> what about uh, Seebeck effect? So here the EMF generated, right? Because uh, some voltage is generated because of which current is flowing. So the EMF generated is given by this formula. It is alpha into T plus beta by 2 into T square where uh, T here is the temperature and alpha and beta are some constants. So we can have some simple uh, numericals based on this formula. E is equal to alpha T plus beta by 2 T square. So that is the formula for Seebeck effect. 